My name is Nate. And I'm RJ. And today we're going to be talking about symbiotic relationships within St. John. St. John is a great place to find many active examples of mutualism, commensalism, and parasitism, which are all symbiotic relationships. Mutualism is where two organisms benefit from each other. Uh, parasitism is where a parasite uh, feeds off of another organism and harms that organism. Commensalism is when one organism is helped by another, but the other organism is neither helped nor hurt. Another example of symbiotic relationships is pseudo-cleaning. Pseudo-cleaning is when a fish wants to be cleaned, so they go up to a plant and rub off their dead skin cells. This act helps the fish while neither hurting nor helping the plant, which makes this an example of commensalism. There are also bad relationships in the ocean. For example, there's parasitism. One example of parasitism is where a worm latches on to a fish and benefits off of its body and uses it for its own, and it hurts the fish. That is why fish go to cleaning stations to get these worms off. So in this relationship, the parasite is the one being benefited, but the fish is actually being hurt because it is having its blood sucked by the parasite. So this makes it parasitism. One example of the mutualistic relationships within the ocean are the cleaning stations between the fish. The larger fish go to these cleaning stations with the smaller fish. They sit still to signal the smaller fish when they want to be cleaned. When they feel like the, they are cleaned of all the dead skin cells and parasites and mucus off of them, they twitch and signal the smaller fish that they are done being cleaned. This is an example of a mutualistic relationship. Because both fish are being benefited. One example of a commensalistic relationship are the termites. The termites use the trees as a form of protection. They make their nests and build passageways so they can travel without being eaten by birds. This is helping the termites by giving them food and a place to make their nests. In this relationship, the termites do not harm the tree because they only eat the dead bark that is on the outside of the tree. On the island, there is a form of parasitism that is very well known. This is the mosquitoes and the land mammals. The mosquitoes will inject a non-clotting chemical into the mammal so that they can take the blood, but this chemical causes bumps where they bit to start itching. But more seriously, the mosquitoes can spread diseases from one animal to another, like malaria and the Zika virus. The mosquitoes are helped because they get blood from the animal, but the animal is either hurt temporarily, or if the mosquito had a disease, the animal could even be killed. Luckily, we have a mutualistic relationship with the bats on the island. The bats eat the mosquitoes, which is one of their main sources of food, and this helps us and the land mammals because it limits the mosquitoes that will bite us. In conclusion, on and around the islands of St. John, there are symbiotic relationships between the organisms. These symbiotic relationships can go from the termites on trees to the fish cleaning themselves at cleaning stations. So next time you're in nature taking a stroll, just take some time and look at the relationships around you.